Hello, welcome to the A to Z YouTube channel. My name is Toby Allen and I'm in charge of recording. Today we are looking at the new base library from Spectre Digital called Singularity. So Singularity is a new base library from Spectre Digital. You're probably very familiar with Spectre Digital because of Glenn Fricker and his uh, YouTube channel and his hatred of bassists. <laughs> so I guess it was only a matter of time before he had his own base library. Um, it's based on a Kiesel Precision 5-string bass with jazz pickups. This isn't a, a per se a sponsored video, but Spectre Digital were kind enough to give me a copy of this to show to you guys um, so you can see what it's all about. So I'm going to have a quick look at the interface as, as usual. Um, you've got the actual bass here. One thing I think is really cool is you click on here just to hear it um, and you can do this. I'm childish, so I find that amusing. <laughs> um, you can select between playing with a plectrum, like that, or with a finger. You can also uh, change the velocity here. And uh, I love the fact that it's like using sheet music symbols to show you the velocity, bearing in mind kind of bass players wouldn't normally be able to read sheet music <laughs> according to the stereotypes at least there's an eq here which just touches the low mids and the high mids um, and i'm just going to dial those and show you how they sound i would kind of call this the girth and the dangle because um, that's basically the part of the frequency range that it's affecting. So we've got here the distortion and cabinet section, and there's a really handy little display uh, of a signal flow chart here, which shows you the exact sort of signal flow going into this circuit. So you have the base DI coming in, that goes into the uh, EQ, just the low mid and the high mid, and then it goes into your split frequency, so you can choose where the split happens, and the high pass signal so that's the high parts goes into the the part up here to the gain and that is actually split again so you've got the gain and the clean going and then it comes back and you can use the blend knob to blend how much of the uh, distortion you're getting and how much of the clean you're getting that then goes into an impulse response and it goes into the balance and the low pass signal so the low frequencies go into a compressor which there aren't any settings for and then that goes into the balance so then you can balance the knob between your high pass signal with distortion on it with the low pass section with the compressor on it and then that goes into the output gain so that's really nice because when you just look at those knobs without having the um, the signal flow chart there, um, it might not make a huge amount of sense. So that's pretty cool. So I'm, what I'm going to do is going to loop this section here and leave that playing, and then I will mess around with these knobs and show you how it sounds. But yeah, there's a lot of options on there for your tone, which is really nice. Um, you've also got pitch correct, which means that um, when you play a bass note and it sustains, when you first hit the string, it is slightly sharp and then it goes slightly flat as it rings out. And the pitch correct switch uh, it actually means it's got pitch correction on it to prevent that from happening. So it's consistent pitch across the entire note so that's quite nice to be able to do that as well um, almost like if you had a real bass then put it through Melodyne to make sure that it's all properly in tune you've also got a humanized function on here which um, randomly it explains here random gain value in this range will be applied to each note pre effects note that this plugin is already designed to sound human even without this knob at zero so far I've been using the knob at zero and it does 
have a humanization to it for sure. So this actually randomly changes the volume going into the front of the um, distortion to give you an extra level of making it feel a bit more humanized. So that's quite clever. That means you can have more humanization with less samples being recorded. So that keeps the footprint of the uh, library down on your drive. So you've got mapping up here which shows you um, some of the articulations that you can add in. So you've got the option to add string noise, percussive, finger style. You can change between plectrum and finger style by using a key switch which is quite nice. And you've got some settings you can choose where you have library installed so it doesn't have to be on your OS drive. You can put it onto an external drive. If you do put it on an external drive I strongly recommend you use an SSD. I tried it on a um, spinning hard drive and it struggled to work um, because the drive just wasn't fast enough to get to get the samples into the DAW. Um, the only issue I had to begin with and probably something that a lot of people will have is that the mapping of the actual notes is an octave out. So I think that means if you're using Reaper it's correct if you're using any other DAW, it's an octave up. So what is programmed as E1 in Pro Tools was being played as E2 in the plugin. So I basically had to drag everything down an octave to get it to be in the right octave, um, which is fine. You know, it's just one of those little quirks that you have to know when you're using this. Um, in the same way, like if you're using GGD, it has different mapping to Easy Drummer for example. Um, so it's just one of those things to bear in mind. But yeah, I think this is really cool. It sounds more like a, a bassist than me playing a bass does, if that makes sense. So that's very useful. If you don't like contact, then it's a good solid option that doesn't use contact. <laughs> that's, I know that will be an attraction for many people. Um, but yeah, this is definitely something that would be usable for me. So I believe this is on sale for only another day or two. Uh, on the introductory price so if you want to grab it then I suggest you grab it soon. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching if you liked what you've seen then give us a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and we've got more videos coming very soon. Apologies for the short break it's been a month since we put a video out and uh, we've had a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Um, I've been changing vehicle, I've changed computer um, and just trying to catch up with everything at the moment so thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Blah, 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 blah.